lots of Maravians, it's Gameheart and welcome back to Trow. And today we'll go through the new event Meteor Chase. I already have finished this questline and in my opinion it's pretty neat. At least you don't need to kill 500 monsters and then again 500 and then again and then again. <laughs> nope you don't. And you get a pretty awesome mount in the end. A fly mount. But now we are in the beginning of the questline with my lovely Ice Age. So in the first quest, it should defeat an Asian Dragolich in a 3-star dungeon in the Permafrost. And logically, we are going to Permafrost. And I was pretty lucky and found a 3-star dungeon pretty fast. And as you can see, it says slay the Asian Dragolich, so I have the right dungeon. So and here it is, and I killed it. And for this, I got one Empower Gem box, which is a nice extra. And the next quest is also to defeat some bosses in 3 star dungeons. This time they're Robo Raids. And for this you get an other body battery, which is used for crafting. And I found this boss in every 3 star dungeon I entered. So this is how it looks like. Very jumpy but you can see it. The next quest is the collecting quest. We need to collect special robotic salvage in Gondoria. 100 of them. And for that we'll get a double experience potion, which is pretty pretty useful. And to get this special robotic salvage, you need to kill the flying cakes. The flying cakes the candles. No other mob in Gandoria gives this salvage. Only the flying cake. And they give a random number of the salvage. 1, 2, 3. And the next quest is to acquire an usual meteor fragment, for which you can get 5 bow brilliants which is a very useful material for improving your gems, so you want it, believe me. <laughs> to get these unusual material fragments, you need to go to Medieval Highlands and kill the bees. But a small note here, you need 100 fragments. So you need to kill not 50 bees, but 100 bees to craft the stuff needed for the mount. And after you get the fragments, you need to craft a data projector. For crafting you need to go to the view of seasons, in the hub or in your club. And here you can see it. Yep, you need 100 of them. And for the next quest you need to go to the fire world to collect some plus steel plates. And for this you need to find a special dungeon. A 3 star labyrinth or puzzle dungeon. So it looks like this. It took me a while to find it, <laughs> but every kill in the account. Each mob in this dungeon drops some of these plates, especially the bosses. Good luck finding this dungeon. And for this you get two lapis luck bucks. And the next quest is to collect power plant segments from the magical atoli, from fire vaults in the water vault. And you get these segments from the crabbies. So you need to kill 50 crabs. And for that you get extra a ninth life. So the next quest is to complete one star dungeons, 30 of them, to get 30 engine components. So see we are collecting crafting materials for a mount. It takes a while. I really don't like the dungeon quest, but I believe the mount in the end is worth it. And the next quest is to collect the full drops from Kandoria and Cupcakes. Just go to Kandoria and smash some cupcakes. Sometimes the full drops drop, sometimes not. And for this you get extra 5 gem booster boxes. And finally we got all the components we need, so we can craft a scout saucer. An UFO. <laughs> and for that we need to find a sword T2. In the Sky Realms. To be honest, it took me forever to find it. <laughs> the most longest part of this quest. But there are very nice people who were searching for it and a Trovian named The Buddy invited me. Huge thanks. So we finally can craft the scout saucer. The UFO mount, a flying mount. And for this we get extra 25 diamond dragosite. So it's really worth it. And the last quest is simply to learn it. And for that we're getting one Radiant Sovereign, which you can use to buy something from the vendor in the hub. And here is the awesome mount, the flying UFO. So this flying mount only costs your time even give you some extra rewards, like Dragonite, the Sovenger, some gem booster boxes, a leveling potion, so I believe it's pretty worth it. And I really like it. I believe it's a pretty original mount. Why not you have some aliens intro? 
Maybe we all are just aliens and draw, who knows. <laughs> just wanted to show you this quest line. And I believe this one's a pretty neat one. Because you are obtaining materials to craft something. Not simply killing mobs again and again and again. <laughs> so you see, we will see what the events draw have in future. So game hard needs to fly away, her people need her. <laughs> Saves you with the events, I hope you get your UFO mount. And have fun in Thanks for watching. We'll be awesome if you like. Till next time and see.